as a mom, cartoons are on at my house a lot, but there's a true art form to some of those cartoons, and that's the art form of manga. So here to explain to us what exactly manga is are my two guests, Maya and Ian, and they're going to share everything with us from a little bit of the history and what it really is. So if you're not familiar with what manga is, Maya, why don't you tell us what manga is? Bring them up to speed. Well, manga is typically, it's just the Japanese word for comics. And okay. when you hear about it in the U.S., all it means is Japanese comics. Well, that's simple enough, right? There's no confusion there. No. Nope. Let's take a look. You brought along a couple examples. Now, this work is actually your work here, right? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at some of these. I love these. These are great. Thank you. These are my characters. Um, they're from my comic called Tea Club, which is just an action comedy. Mm -hmm. um, this is Chris and her friend Kay, and mm -hmm. they're best friends. Um, actually, the main character is this girl right here. She's a cat girl. Uh, her name is Hananeko. I think I saw a picture of her. Was there one? Yeah, there is, right? Yeah. This yeah. one's her right here. And Very that's cool. An echo. Um, basically, she's a tea lover, and she's in a tea club at school, mm -hmm. and they fight other tea clubs at other schools over tea, who loves tea the most. Very cute. And that, I think that that's it's fun to hear like the lighthearted side of this. Yeah. I think that you know there's so many different cartoons on now that have, and they are a little bit of action adventure to them. I mean, there's mm -hmm. you know the Pokemon and all those kinds of things. But I think that it's really sweet because there's also a sweetness to this too. We're not just yeah. all about rough and tumble. This isn't, you know, your average boys comics, right? Mm -hmm. This is for both boys and girls. Yeah, and that's what drew me to manga is mm -hmm. that um, the stories were more that I read were more about the characters mm -hmm. um, versus superhero comics. Um, and wh when I, w I first read manga, I, that's when I realized, oh, you can tell stories about people. You can tell stories about one moment in time. Mm -hmm. And that's what really turned me on to the whole manga as an art form. I think that that's awesome. Now, how long have you been doing it? For 15 years now. Okay, now, and you've been doing it for how long? For about 10 years. Okay, so the two of you stumbled across each other in actually a forum. Yes. Right? But I, I would have to say that if you're talking, you know, 10 and 14 years ago, mm -hmm. when the internet wasn't the way that it is now, mm -hmm. that it was kind of hard. Yeah. To, it I was. mean, to, it was. to find other people it that was. had the same interest. I was so happy to find an online group of artists who just wanted to share and to have fun with it. That's great that you were able to do that though mm -hmm. because it's not, I think that's what you know makes it tough and kind of stifles your creativity almost mm -hmm. when you don't know. Now, and you brought along some work here for us too and this is one of your pieces, right? Yes, this is from my comic book Grind. Uh, this girl is named Yasuko and uh, she practices a kind of kung fu that mm -hmm. involves skateboarding. So Very that's cool. what she's doing right here. She's doing a little bit of meditation, a little bit of balancing exercises. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to say, I think this is one of my favorite pages that I've ever drawn. This is beautiful. Thank you. Now, when you're talking comic books, obviously those are pretty labor intensive. Do, is it always labor intensive or do people just do single pictures like this? Do they just do a simple page and not have to do a storyline or? I think that uh, yes, people do a lot of single illustrations uh -huh. and sometimes even do strips or single pages. Okay. Um, a lot of manga artists sometimes do online comics that are just three panels at a time, but it's up to you to decide how long you want to go for. Simple is good. Keep you it can simple. express Which yourself. Which goes back to the original part of the orp art form, right? Yes. When we talk about the history of it, um, you were sharing with me before that, you know, that it's the simple lines, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of depth to it. So like in the drawing, mm -hmm. there's, you know, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. you can I don't mean simple as if I could pick up a pen and start doing it. But that, you know, there's not a, a bunch of major detail into it, but still mm -hmm. it says so much. Yeah, you can express a lot with lines um, and the tools that we use. Uh, we use pens that have um, different line widths. So, uh -huh. uh, for example, I might go over one part of the drawing with one width, but then um, use a thicker line. Well, like this page that you've got here, mm -hmm. and this one you've got, obviously, there's a lot of your different line works, but you can mm -hmm. tell where things are very dramatic. I mean, it's mm -hmm. all, this is really a good example of your line work, mm -hmm. because this is where you've got, you know, a little bit of drama and an intense and an explosion, you mm -hmm. know, it just kind of builds itself up. Yeah, that was the point, and um, I did use different line widths to express, you know, the, the pacing of that scene. Okay. So that is a good example. Very cool. Now, what are you working on over here? I love this, like, steadfast drawing. You guys Thank are, like, you. doodling, and it's these fabulous things. I've been drawing since I came. It's, I really enjoyed being on the show. Great. I'm glad you're here. What I'm working on here is uh, not so much an exploration of the different line widths, but I'm looking at uh, using some watercolors to add some nice 
splashing to the to the image. Okay. Um, I really like this character. It's actually mm -hmm. from a video game that I play. Great. But uh, I noticed that you know even just beyond playing the game, mm -hmm. the art in the game was really stunning. And so this is sort of my way to get more in touch with what's actually there. Which I think that that's where kids are, you know, getting turned on to this art form. It's because they're seeing it around them and they want to start mimicking it, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, let's talk just a little bit about the program the two of you have started. And that is this Manga Start, mm -hmm. Manga Start, excuse me. And this is a little book here that you have done up that has step-by-step -step how to create illustrations. So I just want us to touch on that this is completely kid safe. Definitely. You used, <laughs> earlier you had said this is just like with movies. Yes. You have bad movies, you have good movies, kid appropriate, kid friendly, and that it's the same with art as well. Mm -hmm. And that that's really part of manga too, and that you are really focusing on keeping this safe, giving children a place mm -hmm. to find this. And you know, so it's not so hard like the two of you had it, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. We loved, uh, I, I loved my, my little niece and nephew, mm -hmm. just four and five years old. And, uh, and like, I hope that they enjoy this enough to you know, try drawing it out for themselves. Because I know that they have the little stories inside that they're always trying to tell me. And even though they may not have all the words, mm -hmm. when they can sit down and draw a picture. Kids can say so much more with art. This, I'm telling you, I think if they, it's a wonderful form of expression for kids. Well, I hope the two of you will come back and join me again. We would love to. Love to. And we'll have to do a whole strip next time. Definitely.